So again, we've been talking about this connected store and, and you know, there, there's a lot of elements uh, on this graphic that, you know, we feel like we are part of that connected store from, uh, you know, occupancy management where we can deploy our cameras for people counting in a traditional security field of view type of way instead of the, the top down uh, vertical approach. Uh, those retail analytics like queue management, um, you know, anything from a security analytic like line crossing, uh, enter, exit, appear, disappear, uh, vehicle, you know, in unauthorized area. Uh, all of these things are happening on the edge. Uh, and then now we're going to take it a step beyond that with the power of AI and show you what edge based AI analytics can do uh, from a, uh, a retail end user perspective. So what we did is we worked directly with the Genetech uh, development team uh, and, and our research and development team. We built a plugin with Genetech's SDK, their software development kit. And that software development kit plugs directly into our P-Series AI camera. Um, these cameras are, uh, they come in a variety of different form factors, uh, bullet, box, dome, vandal dome, flush mount dome, so they can fit whatever environment inside or outside of a retail establishment. But what we can do is we've, We've, we've trained these cameras using computer vision to, to understand and detect and distinguish between certain objects, a person, a face, a vehicle, and a license plate. And I'll just pause on the license plate. It is not doing LPR. It is simply recognizing the presence or the shape of a license plate on a vehicle. And that can be used for forensic search in the, in the future. Um, but what this plugin can do, and you've got kind of a, a screenshot here, and I'll take you through some videos, is we're not just recording the video, but we're actually recording the metadata as well. And then within Security Center, as long as you're on 591.0 or beyond, um, we are able to then drill down and start searching or creating event actions off of those attributes or those, those objects. So you can see it here, it's, it's great to see still images, but I think the videos will definitely help you guys understand that. On a person and vehicle search, think about all those retail investigations uh, you know, that, that we have with limited information. Back in my DSW days, you get an LPMS incident report that says, hey, it was a male wearing blue and he came in on Tuesday. OK, how many hours of time are we spending looking for that? With this plugin, you can generally just go right into the, to the camera, find the, the, the date or time that you were looking for, plug in those attributes and find those images instantaneously. So this this um, slide really helps kind of visualize what items we can search for within Genetech. Uh, again, face, color of clothing, upper, lower, bag, age group, glasses, face mask, gender, vehicle type, vehicle color, and, and license plate. Again, those are all searchable attributes. So creating very accurate event actions off of these types of attributes is going to turn that cumbersome investigative process, that forensic review of hey, I think a customer fell in this area, and this is my description, into a very quick and efficient way to conduct video review. And, and Scott, you alluded to it. We have to do more with less right now. So this is how we can use technology as a force multiplier. So without further ado, I think it's great to, to talk about it again, but let's let's see what it looks like in action. Um, the, this, first, uh, this first video uh, is going to highlight, again, we're clicking the AI, uh, Hanwha AI camera here. And we're going to look for, uh, in this case, you know, a, uh, a specific uh, thing. So you can see as we're, we're searching here, we're going to look for a vehicle. Uh, we're going to look for a car and we're going to want to find a white car. That was the description that we had. Uh, again, you're going to see almost instantly we've got the video pulling up and we select it. And then we've it, uh, obviously increased the size of the image here and we've got the white car. You're noticing bounding boxes on the objects. There you just got the bounding box on the white car. Uh, those bounding boxes are going to be unique to the vehicles uh, or or um, objects that the camera is able to detect. Here we've got a uh, uh, a white SUV going through there. Uh, we're going to look for a white truck at this point. So we'll click uh, white truck. Uh, as soon as we click here again, we're going to present the video. You can see and we're talking 150, 200 uh, yards away from here at that stop sign. We saw that white moving truck come by again, changing it on, on the radio button there. We've got blue. Uh, again, instantly finding that object. Think about how much time this is saving, Scott, you know, from a, a forensic review perspective. All you need is a basic description and the video is going to do the work for itself. Oh, absolutely. And what was the resolution on this particular camera? George? This this is a 4K camera. Okay. Um, the first the first uh, part of the P-series that we released, uh, this AI camera, they are all 4K in resolution. 
Um, we will be releasing uh, several lower megapixel options um, you know, specifically for retail over the next, call it uh, six to nine months, uh, but this is 4K. It and then let's- great. It's a great looking picture. Oh yeah, it, the, the image quality is, is beautiful. Um, let's, uh, let's look at what a person search looks like. Again, you know, in my Nordstrom Target DSW days, uh, you insert the blank retailer, you have basic information of a suspect or of an individual that happened to slip, trip or fall, let's say. In this case, hey, we wanna look for a female wearing purple or pink. You could see just by drilling down female attribute as the gender, uh, upper color clothing is, is kind of a purple or pink. We've instantly found this individual uh, with, within no time. Same thing here. As I get into the next scene, um, we're going to look for an individual wearing blue. Uh, again, as I click these buttons, male wearing blue, you're going to see, and I can even name the color uh, on the bottom if I want to. Uh, we're looking the duration. Obviously, we're, we're naming that. So this is within the last, let's say, one week. Um, it's going to find every object that it classified as a male uh, with blue and, and you know what it believes to be red on the bottom. Um, I will be the first to tell you, Nobody should expect 100% accuracy with any AI analytics, whether they're ours or somebody else's. But what I would say through the testing that we've seen, uh, the research and development and, and field testing, the accuracy uh, within Security Center is, is fantastic. Uh, you can see we can drill in on that individual. We can obviously identify him wearing blue. And then we can save that. We can run a report within Security Center. There's a bunch of actions that you can take after that point. Uh, that quite frankly, your, your Genetech team would be more equipped to talk about than, than I would. But what, what I would say is what we're doing is we're feeding in that metadata um, in conjunction with that video and all of that is searchable. 